everyone! How's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great! So today is another one of my 12 days of Craftmas. And um, I do have another little decorative thing I want to do. I told y'all, when I get obsessed, I get obsessed. And I am obsessed with doing these things because they are so stinking cute and I love them. Alright, so this one seems a little bit more complicated than the little snowman that I did earlier today. Or not today, but earlier this week, right? Isn't it cute? But I figure I will take it step by step. And that's what I like about, her name is Renee Mullins. And I get this from um, PlumPretty.com. It'll be linked down below. And what I really like is that she gives pretty detailed instructions on how to do this stuff so if you're new like me um you know you could do it and wing it and it is still come out cute no matter what way you do it you know what i'm saying so i don't think you can really mess this up too badly because it, it'd be your own like this didn't totally look like her you know the picture that she did it it's to it's a little different because you know i'm not her see like, this was her, and it, of course, hers is supposed to be on a sleigh, but, I mean, there's subtle differences, and, you know, but I, I, it's cute. I love it. It turned out cute. So, you still put your own, even, even though you're going by instructions and all that, you're still doing it yourself. Like, even though you're tracing, you still put your own little flair of the way you do things. If, I hope that's making sense. But anyway, so today, and of course, this is supposed to be on an 8-inch plate, I do believe. Um, yeah, 8-wood plate, yes. So, what I did is I have this little cute little, I don't know, it's a little, what do they call it? A box, just a box. And I believe I got it from the Dollar Tree several years ago. And so to, I wanted to go ahead and decorate it. I thought it would be cute to decorate it. Now, um, I'm not going to paint the inside of it because, you know, you really won't see the inside. So I'm not going to worry about that. I have already sealed it. It's already got a sealer on it. I don't know if y'all can tell because it's a little glossy. But I've already put a sealer on it just, you know, to help save paint. And then what I've done is, I like with the other little snowman birdhouse, I reduced the draw line um, by 50%, right? So that I can have it where it will fit onto the lid, because I'm putting him on the lid. See? And he will fit. Just so cute. So I've already traced him out as well, as you can see. And this time I did use a black fine Sharpie, or ultra fine actually, Sharpie marker. Because when I used pencil, this was my pencil one that I used last time. Because of the lighting I have in my room, um, it was so hard to see the, the lines with the pencil because of the glare. So I just thought it would be easier just to do it with the ultra fine marker. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to tape him down and keep him in place. And I've got a piece of graphite paper. And I have a stylus that I'm going to use. Oh, where's the piece that's already been cut? I have a piece that's already been cut. What did I do with it? Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to put it under here, and I'm just going to start tracing with my stylus, if I can find it. I had it right here. Where did it go? Well, doodleberries. Did I put it up? I don't think I put it up. Did I put it in here? Okay. Oh, no, wait. Here it is. I found it. Sorry. Alright, and I'm going to use the very, very small end of it, the smallest end, because it needs to be kind of defined work. Now on this, I think I'm going to kind of do like what I did on the birdhouse, 
which is paint it the base colors, you know, but then just freehand, because I freehanded painting these little branches on here. So I think that's what I'm going to do is just freehand painting a little bit of, of um, just pine on there. I hope that makes sense. All right. So I'm not going to bore you with tracing. We all know how to do it. So when I get back, I will show you uh, what I've traced um, with this. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've got him transferred over, and I think he is pretty cute. So now I'm just going to read the directions to see what we do. All right, transfer the wavy line, which is going to be the vine, which I've done. Base the background on the outside of the wavy line. So we're going to go over on this side of the wavy line. Um, and around the edge of the plate, which is this, with light French blue. So... I'm going to go all the way down and around and even on this with the French blue because I want this to match the top, right? Does that make sense? Around the edge of the plate. No, wait. Yeah. Okay. So, this is going to take a lot of paint and I'm using a flat brush. Just because it will, I'll get in more, more area, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and just paint. So, I'm going to paint that, and I'm going to paint all of this. Oh, I hope I have enough paint. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm going to paint. This is why I sealed this, too, because, you know, this is just paper, and if you didn't seal it, this stuff would just, this paint would just suck right on in there, you know? So, I'm going to paint all of this and around from the edge on the outside all the way down and around. And then I will be back. Okay, so this is pretty dried. I've got it all on there like that. Alright, so now we're going to do some floating. Um, I'm going to do some shading and I'm going to be using my uh, 3 8 of an inch brush because it says it needs to be wide. Shade a wide float of French gray blue around the edge of the plate. Well, because I don't have a plate, I'm just going to wing it. So I'm going to do it on the edge around this way, but I'm also then going to do it on the edge around this way because when this goes on top of here, that's the top of this part, right? And then I will also, though, go and do it around the bottom. I'll do it this way, around the bottom of this, right? So that's my plan of action anyway. So let's see how well we'll do here. And now it says to deepen the shadow, deepen the shading with deep midnight um, blue.
Okay, so I got that done, and I think it's going to be cute, right? I think it's cute. So now we're going to do base coating on the inside of the wavy line, right? And we need to do that with winter blue and bleached white, one of one. So it's an even mixture of the two. Now, I could not find bleached white. Um, I didn't even see where it even existed before in life. Right? I mean, I scoured the internet for days trying to figure it out. I even contacted Renee, um, but I also contacted her. I did two, two, I did two emails to her, and uh, one was about the ble bleached white, and one of them was about the red iron oxide, because they don't have that anymore. So she did respond back to the red iron oxide, and says so she uses coral blush, and that's for the cheeks. So I got that answer, but I don't know if maybe the other email didn't go through to her because it was two emails. You know, they might have thought it was spammy. I don't know. Uh, but she didn't answer about the bleached white. So I even contacted Americana, though, and asked them what would be a substitute for bleached white. And they never got in contact with me. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and go with this whitewash. Because it is a little, you know, titanium white is the whitest of the white. Nothing is whiter than titanium white, I don't think. So this is just a little bit, you see, it's not as dark. And I also have a warm white, but of course that's on the wool, the warm side. So I figured bleach white needed to be on a cooler side. So they do have a cool white, but they just didn't have it at Hobby Lobby. So I figured this will work. So this is what I'm using. So I'm using the white wash and I'm using winter blue. And what I'm going to do needs to go on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and mix. I think I'm going to use this filbert. But I'm going to go just dab and dab and mix them on my palette together. And I'm trying just to dab the same amount. Now the problem with this is you want to mix up enough. Um, of course, because it's got to go... Um, Uh-oh, I think I missed a spot on him. I sure did. I sure did. I missed... Is this side of him? Where his body comes. Let me make sure I have that. There we go. Alright. No big deal. Alright. Because this is going to go around, all the way around all of this stuff. <clears throat> except for down here because these are snow banks down there so I need to make sure that I have enough Okay, so now it says highlight along the inside of the wavy line with bleached sand. Okay, bleached sand. Alright, now what I need to do is shade around the main design with French gray blue. So we're going back with French black gray blue.
Okay, and then it says to deepen the um, deepen in some spots with the deepen the shading in the darkest areas with deep midnight blue. Um, and I will say right now that I am not digging what I did over here. Like in this area. I'm just going to soften this up a little bit. Just in like that. Okay, when that dries, I'll do another pass around, but that was just so harsh right in there. I'm going to use my fourth of an inch brush to do that, but we'll let that, we'll let that dry. All right, so now we need to use buttermilk and base the snowman with the buttermilk. Alrighty, <clears throat> so that is done. So I need to shade under the hat, under and around the scarf, the area where the arm is attached, around the birdhouse, behind the snow mounds, and along the left side of the coals in uh, with sable brown. So what I want to do now is I want to put back on here though my um stencil because I need to redo the um, some of the birdhouse and his eyes and the coals All right, so I need sable brown. So shade under the hat, under and around the scarf, uh, the area where the arm is attached, around the birdhouse, behind the snow mounds, and along the left sides of the coals and sable brown. And it looks like his cheeks come from here to here, but I'm going to switch to the smaller. So I'll we'll use Coral Blush. Okay, so now we need to um, brush or paint the um, arms with a brush mix of burnt umber and milk chocolate. All 
All right, the nose we'll do after we do the scarf. So let's move on to the scarf. We're going to base it with celery green. So I'm gonna let that dry because I know I'm gonna need two coats. So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and base coat everything else. That I need. So let's go ahead and base coat the hat, which is in camel. Um, let's go ahead and do the nose. Base coat it with Canon Orange. The heart. All right, so we're gonna undercoat the heart with celery green. So that's just one little base coat of that. All right, we'll let that dry. Okay, bird, and now we want to do camel, the birdhouse and camel. Okay, and now let's do the snow mounds, and we do those in buttermilk. For the birds, we undercoat their beaks with camel. Okay, let's go back to the scarf. Okay. We need to shave with avocado, and I'm going to shave because it is so small. I'm going to shave with my fourth of an inch or eighth of an inch. Even the shading areas were needed with a brush mix of avocado and black green. Highlight along the roll line and the top sides of the long flaps on the scarves with a brush mix of celery green and camel. that dry so let's move on to um let's see let's go with the hat deep in the shading area oh no it uh shade down the sides with burnt sienna with country red. With lamp black, the top part, and the brim. So I'm going to go ahead and do the brim. We're going to base coat the heart with 
now with the country red. Let that dry. Let's go back with the with the um well we gotta let that dry all right let's see all right i'm gonna let this dry because what i need to do now is i need to transfer the stripes back onto the um scarf all right what i want to do is i'm going to use that celery the celery and the camel color and go out like that because I'm pretty sure that's what I needed to do there and to go on the edge there and do the avocado. And the black. And that. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Paint the stitching along the top of the band with buttermilk. So I need to shade the stripes with black plum. All right, so let's wait for that to dry before we put the stitches around it. All right. Now we paint the fridge and fringe in two later layers. Paint the first layer with black plum. Okay. All right. Now we can go up here with the Camel, and we'll do the little stitches. Paint the second layer with country red, talking about the little fringes down here. Dot, not, dot the knots with the country red. Now we even go even more with the neon's fiery red. 
on just the dots. So we're highlighting it. All right, so the scarf is done. Now let's see. Now let's go back up to the snowman's hat is done. Now let's do the heart tree. All right, base paint it with country red. We did shade along the sides and bottom of the heart with black plum. So let's do that. And then I'm using my littlest one eighth brush. Highlight along the top of the heart with the neon fiery red. Top of it. Oh, cute! Alright, um, let's see. Paint the tree trunk and limbs. Okay, with a brush mix of the milk chocolate and the burnt umber. Okay, so now we paint the pine in two layers. Um, the first layer is with black green. go with a uh, Hauser Light Green over that. Birdhouse. Alright, shade around the outside edge and under the roof with burnt sienna. Alright, so we do the wood grain. There's a little bit of wood grain looking. We do that with burnt sienna, they say. So just a little bit. It's more of a wash. That looks fine like that. Okay, paint the roof and the inside of the opening with burnt umber and milk chocolate. So we have a mixture of that. Okay, we're done with the scarf, so let's go back up here with the nose. Let's finish it up. Alright, so I need to just do a little bit of more painting right here for his nose. Okay. Shade down the right side with ox blood. Top the 
Dot the highlight dots on the nose with titanium white. Okay. There we go. Something like that. Okay, so now let's move to the snow mounds. We need sable brown. And I have an old, well, it's not that old, but it's a makeup brush from e.l.f., so it was like a dollar. I just had it out. And I want to try to use that as my stippling brush. Here it is. Okay. So I need fresh titanium white, though. Alrighty then. So the birds, I've done that. Paint the beaks with cadmium yellow. There. I'll wait to do his feet. Now, let's see. I believe I've done everything that I needed to do. I don't like that. Let me see if I can use that brush I used yesterday. And stipple some more snow there. Yeah, I think I like that better. Alright, so now the scary part for me. So now we get to do the vines around it. Oh my gosh. So. I'm taking the zero liner and I've added um, burnt umber and milk chocolate together again. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so it's more fluid. Oh, I'm so scared to do this, y'all. All right, so I'm just gonna start here and I'm just gonna go around. She says go light. And, I mean heavy and light and just you know make it different with so that's what I'm doing so that it'll be different with okay and then we do the oops we do the exact same thing going over that. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. Let me let it dry, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I'll just do this all over again. Okay, so now we paint some small vines and tendrils coming off of the thicker lines in burnt umber. So we go with the darker color. Now I'm going to use, um, okay, paint another thick vine. Okay, did that. Paint some small. Okay, did that. Paint the pine on some of the small vines in two layers. Uh, paint it in the black green and then the Hauser light green again.
cute. So I'm just leaving it like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love him. I love him. I really, really, really do. I think he turned out super cute. It's a little difficult to do these on um, these smaller versions, but I think it's turning out cute. Oh, I think he turned out cute. You know what I might do? I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm about to do. You know what I'm about to do. I'm going to put some of that sparkling ice on where the snow is at. I hope that you enjoy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not done. Sorry. Every time I think I'm done, I'm not done. That's the whole thing with this. This is zero. This is what I need. I need black. I forgot this little guy's feet. He needs some feet. He has them coming. Ooh, she's got them coming all the way down. Like. So. That's good. All right, now that's good. Now I'm done. Now I am finite. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying the series. I'm having a blast doing the series. I know I've been doing a lot of this decorative painting, and it's only because um, I've just learned how to do it. And with that, I always like to practice, practice, practice. And so... Plus, they're just so darn cute. I just can't. I just can't stop. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. All right, y'all. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.